Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Pisces. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus signs specific. Any Pisces placement that you may resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen, all linked and listed in the description box. We will pull oracles at the end, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, we're jumping right in, Pisces. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. First card out this week is the Eight of Pentacles. Busy at work, busy at work. Some sort of dedication going on here. We also have the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. We have the Page of Wands, also Sagittarius energy. Could have that in your chart. Be dealing with the Sag. Sagittarius season could be an important time frame for you. The Three of Swords, Major Arcana, the Justice card. Libra energy could also be important to you or for you. Some of you might be dealing with some sort of legal matter. But this is definitely um, some sort of karmic karma cycling in and out. Some sort of karmic cycle or karmic lesson that you might have been in or someone that you were connected to might not necessarily be your energy. I do also see a lot of masculine energy here. Some of you may also be dealing with a child. And your last card is Major Arcana, the Fool card. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords. Some of you are definitely dealing with children. Something to do with your children. Okay? Or someone and their children. Whoever it is, however it is. But it also could be a sense of newness. If you are not dealing with the situation with newness, there's newness. There is a new dawn coming in after a period of um, hardship. Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords this is definitely hardship. Not only um, maybe financially for some of you, but emotionally too. It's been a really tough period. Looks like that's getting ready to come to an end with this Justice card here. This is whatever sort of cycle you've been experiencing. Uh, it's kind of like you've paid your debts. Okay, You've done the time. You, you, you did the crime. You've done the time. Now you can sort of... Um, move forward for some of you this is somebody you are connected to a friend a brother a sibling a child lover whoever it is definitely um someone that is now able to move forward to a new beginning heavy and heavy emphasis on newness new beginning being able to move on with the uh, page of wands and the full card here some of you also might be receiving some sort of good news especially if you're dealing with a legal matter and for some of you, you're dealing with someone that was unable to be um, consistent because they were dealing with some sort of karmic cycle, karmic situations, lessons. They were going through a rough time. Three of Swords is all about loss, all about pain. And, and Eight of Pentacles is, you know, working hard, needing to work very uh, diligently day in, day out. So it definitely could have created some sort of instability or someone um, caused someone to show up very unstable, unreliable with this Knight of Wands energy. Here one minute, gone the next. But it looks like this is wrapping up, whoever this is for you. Some of you, this is you. That have not, um, you've not been able to sort of be consistent with friends, family, that type of thing. And whatever cycle that's been stopping you from doing that, you're able to move, for, move on from that now. Lots of new energy here with these two pages. Page of Swords is Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. The Page of Wands is also a sense of good news. Receiving some sort of good news. Someone could be giving you this good news or you could be giving someone some sort of good news here. The world card, yeah. More evidence of a cycle wrapping up, leaving behind an old cycle. And Major Arcana, the um, the Wheel of Fortune. More evidence of moving forward to positiveness, though. This is what we're moving forward from, this Capricorn energy. Some of you, heavy emphasis on karma season right now. Justice card and the uh, Capricorn energy. That's that Saturn energy. So whoever it is, if you are dealing with someone else, this, this is you. And you've had a reoccurring sort of... Um, essence to your life it does look like you finally learned a lesson you or someone else has finally learned a lesson here or they're finally they finally dealt with it because i do get there could have been a sense of avoidance here could have been a sense of avoidance definitely um and uh leveling up emotionally spiritually like getting your shit together someone's finally getting their shit together maybe after a long period of avoiding it because that night of once could also be a sense of someone that was not dealing with their shit who is finally facing their shit, especially with all this major arcana here, could also be that the divine is like, you know, they have no choice. <laughs> Deal with it now. Because it looks like whatever's coming for them, they need to be, they need to get rid of this sort of energy. Beautiful things coming though. We the fortune, very much luck and fate and destiny being on your side. We are also in the year of eight, which is all about abundance. So this could have been last year, has been really rough for a lot of you, or particularly some that you're connected to. Pisces, if this is a romantic situation, specifically, new love, yeah. 
a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and, re and reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Yeah. Very much the vibe I'm getting here. Could even be a friend that has had a lot of shit going on behind the scenes. Maybe you're not even aware of all the things that they were dealing with. You know, bad patterns, unhealthiness, attachments to things. But finally being able to release it now and being able to move forward, being able to invest in new things. Okay. Guidance space for Pisces. This is why all that new energy is here. For some of you, you know, the person that you're dealing with is releasing some old stuff so that they can uh, create a sort of open pathway for the connection with you. And they are doing it. If there was any doubt as to whether or not they're doing it, they are doing it. Because it does look like they want to move towards the new. Whether you're the new or the old, put yourself where you fit. We have here Meditate and Contemplate, New Moon Pisces. That's your energy. Something about intuition here. But this is also... Um, Whoever it is that you're dealing with, whoever this is that is uh, ready to sort of move forward. They are no longer meditating and contemplating. The period for that is over. They've closed that cycle. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. That's also tying back to this world card. Fixed energy. And you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. So you have a new moon and full moon. Definitely a complete cycle here. Complete cycle. Someone who has been very diligent. This could also be this person was unable to show up for you because they were very focused on getting this shit cleared up. And now it's clear. Now they can, uh, you know, let some new things in their life. Guidance, please, for Pisces. But you are definitely in this person's energy. Coming up, new moon in Pisces. Maybe your birthday could be some sort of significance around your birthday. Watch your words, Parrot Spirit 45, which is a nine. Definitely some sort of completion here. And also progress going from the eight to the nine. But there's definitely a conversation that's going to happen. Squirrel Spirit, believe in yourself. And Porcupine Spirit, time for a beginner's mind. Time back to all that page energy. For some of you, this person hasn't started to deal with their shit yet. It's in meeting you that they realize that they need to deal with their shit. Okay. They were dealing with it up until you. And it's like, you know, to be with you or to be in some sort of connection with you in whatever capacity, they need to be on your level. Guidance, please, for Pisces. They want to hang. So, you know, they got to they gotta, they gotta get their stuff together. Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors tied beside you. I was getting a lot of divine um, push. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, if this person doesn't get this stuff sorted out, they're going to miss the boat. You may very well be the boat, you know? friendship wise however it plays out it's going to be different for us all but there is a big sort of push to kind of hurry up you can't uh you can't uh, procrastinate any longer guidance please for pisces thank you yeah saturn told you you are not only you are not one thing you are a million amazing things this is absolutely someone that is changing um not only their reality but like person like they're reinventing themselves Whatever this old sort of uh, energy was that they were in, this is creating a new sort of way of being. There's that Saturn energy, though. Heavy emphasis on karmic energy, cycles, mindsets, patterns, connections, all of it. Bye-bye. Okay, that is your reading, Pisces. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.